um, attorney general taking them out, draining the swamp, saying that asking um, the remaining 46 members uh, around the country of DOJ uh, to put in their resignation. You've got you know members of the left saying you know this is this is terrible. Even the media uh, saying that this is something though that has been done. Many, many times before, this is basically coming in, starting a new, clean, fresh administration with your priorities, your agenda. What is your take on this? Well, I was kind of stunned by it, uh, but I have to say I had some inside information. If my voice is uh, kind of muddled today, it's because I was out last night with Sean Hannity and Bo Deedle, and you know how dangerous that can be. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> That's a combo. But I, I believe that Sean Hannity has become the second most powerful, uh, influential person in the country when it comes to our political life. He, he talks to the president every day. Uh, Sean on Thursday night went on an absolute rant about the uh, the U.S. attorneys and how they and others in the deep state in the uh, you know in the permanent government have been undermining uh, President Trump and leaking uh, uh, information and perhaps not working 100% uh, behind the president's agenda. Uh, Sean was very very firm on that, and I believe the president heeded his call. I do not believe that this is something they've been pondering for a long time. I, I thought, for example, that Preet Bharara, the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District, who I know well, I mean, a, a person who's had a tremendous impact in terms of going after public corruption here. He took down the Republican sure. state senator, uh, head of the state senate, uh, Dean Skelos. He took down Sheldon Silver, the Democrat head of the uh, New York State Assembly. He had focused on Mayor de Blasio, uh, who's up for re-election here in New York. Uh, Bo calls him Big Bird, uh, going after de Blasio for possible campaign finance violations, going after Andrew Cuomo's staff for bid rigging and, and sure. other things. So I'm shocked that, and Preet Bharara had a meeting at Trump Tower in which right. Preet Brower, after the meeting, announced that Trump had asked him to stay. You say you're stunned, but isn't it, isn't it just that it's, first of all, they all serve the pleasure of the president. They and this certainly is, do. This is standard practice. Other administrations have gotten rid of all the U.S. attorneys and, and through a clean slate so they can emphasize, as, as uh, Abby said, their own priorities. So why are you stunned if it's pretty standard? Because I... I, I explained how Preet Bharara is probably the highest sure. profile of the U.S. attorneys. And when he announced that he had met with Trump and that there was an understanding he had met with the Attorney General Sessions and that there was an understanding that he would stay on to continue these public corruption cases, that's why my guard was down. But you're absolutely right, Pete. This is not that extraordinary. Clinton did it in 93. Uh, George W. Bush was investigated for doing it midterm under somewhat murkier circumstances yeah, but uh, you know you have a situation where you, if you strip it down now what what is uh, the president worried about he's worried about uh, the uh, uh, the loyalty of the government and, and whether so, they're playing the dude I'm totally with you yeah uh, pre Barara having extolled his virtue as a prosecutor I also have to point out is a Democrat who was the counsel for Senator Chuck Schumer, the head of the Democrats in the United States Senate, Chuck Schumer became the enemy of Donald Trump. So here is Preet Bharara, who was Chuck Schumer's right-hand man. He's now the U.S. Yeah. Attorney in the Southern sure. District. So you could certainly see why the president, upon pondering whether to keep Bharara, would say, wait a second. Sure. This yeah. dude is, uh, is with the bad guys. Why am I keeping him in my house?